Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be explaining whether or not paid private servers are worth it, as well as how to use them. So if you're looking for how to use them, all you got to do is copy the code you're using, go to the private server section in the home tab, and then just paste it in the top bar right here. Then just hit join server. That's for paid private servers. If you want to launch a free server that doesn't have any benefits, just hit launch free server. You can only have five people total in this, which is just the amount that the lobby holds. If you want a server that can hold more people, up to 50, you can use the paid private server. The paid private server also has some other features that help you in game, but when you enable those, you do actually lose the ability to gain money. If you want to use your own private server, all you got to do is purchase one. Usually it's going to be right here, I believe, is where you buy it. And then uh, the code of your server will pop up right here. You just got to copy that, paste it, and then you can join your server. But if you want it to be PvP, you can actually change it to PvP right here. Say I wanted it to be 1v1 there, and then I could change it to any map I want. I recommend refreshing it when you change the maps and stuff so it kind of loads that. And then, yeah, you could queue up and have your friend queue with the same code, and y'all could do a 1v1. And there's also 2v2, 5v5s, all that good stuff. That's really good for YouTubers, because if you ever want to just go against your fans in a stream or something, that's usually pretty handy. For open world is... What we're going to be doing for today's video, though, just so I can show you all the features that you can change in game. Alright, once you're in game, just go ahead and deploy, and then you'll be able to hold the tab button, move your mouse down, and then hit toggle admin panel. This is where you're going to find all the options of things you can change. Once you hit enable cheats, it's going to actually disable any money earning stuff. So don't enable cheats if you're wanting to earn money or grind or something like that. Only do it if you're wanting to change some of the things in game. So friendly fire is an option. You can make it to where squad damage is on or off. All damage for, you know, obviously all people. And then you can turn friendly fire off completely. By default, it's going to be off though. Then you can also enable and disable any type of enemy compound. So you can do that for the mini bases as well as the large scaled bases. Server lock just means you can close the server off to anyone else joining. Vehicle spawn permissions, pretty self-explanatory. You can make it to where everyone can spawn, just your friends or just you. Day-night cycle, this is actually very useful, especially for screenshots and stuff. You can uh, turn off the day-night cycle, just make it to where basically the sun or the moon or whatever is frozen in place. You can also change the time of day to dusk, night, day, whatever you really want. So this is really helpful for... Um, Anything from like factions to if you're just trying to take a cool screenshot, anything like that. It's really just a really useful feature. As far as like me being a YouTuber, it it just changes the game in streams especially. Say you want like other people not to be able to spawn a vehicle. You know, you just want to spawn a shank and everybody hop in. That's very useful. If you want to do friendly fire, like large scale operations, you can always do that. Same thing goes for factions. They can find a lot of use in that with same ways pretty much. Just things like kicking people is also really useful because if, you know, someone's acting up, there's just a lot of very useful features if you're running some sort of operation with a lot of people. I'd say if you're just by yourself and you want to earn some cash, don't worry about getting a paid private server because it's it's not even going to let you earn cash if you enable the cheats. But if you want these special features for doing anything like a, you know, operation with some people or just you, you want to be able to change the type of day or you think it should be fun to have them, then yeah, I'd say it's worth it. But if you're looking to grind, just launch a free server and if you want some friends to join, you can always get at least five people in with the amount that free servers let join. Alright guys, thank you for watching. That's the end of today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to comment or join my Discord and ask me. That's in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one.